I'm so tired. I'm also learning a lot about my style. I did get to figure out a lot of things in rewriting today. Very strong stylistic scene. Oh, dang, okay. Scares me so, so much. Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sarah Labrat. This is me post write-a-thon. But before we get into the video, I wanted to say a couple quick things. YouTube tells me that 60% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you are one of those 60%, please scroll down below. Hit that big red subscribe button because it really supports my channel. Also, if you are already subscribed, please go hit that like button because it really helps the YouTube algorithm show other people my videos and helps my channel grow. I did this 10 hour write-a-thon as just a productive day where I was working on editing my project DE, which is a high fantasy told from three points of view. And what I'm currently working on is the big picture edits for this. And that was my goal for Camp NaNoWriMo was to big picture edit the entire rough draft. So 87,000 ish words in six weeks, starting on March 14th until the end of April. I did start the day thinking I was going to be doing a six hour write-a-thon, not a 10 hour write-a-thon, but it was going really well. So I decided to bump it from six to 10. And so when you hear me talking about six hours, that's why. All right, now let's go back to before write-a-thon Sarah and start the day. Today is April 10th. So April Camp NaNoWriMo, day 10. I'm gonna try to do a six hour editing sprint slash productivity sprint. And so I'm gonna be tracking on here how I do and what I do when. I'm starting this at 12.30 because I massively overslept, but that's okay, I think I needed it. But it is just turning to be 12.30 and so we're gonna start out with some editing. to make breakfast and make some phone calls. So I've handled most of my calls for the day. I do have a doctor's appointment coming up here shortly. It's almost 2.30. I had a lot of phone calls to make, but I got my apartment application figured out. Ideally, I will be getting the keys tomorrow, which is crazy. I did find out that there are two author two write-ins today, which is going to be amazing. And so one of them is at three o'clock and one of them is at six o'clock. And so I'm going to be planning on joining both of those. Before I started my first DE editing sprint this morning, or not this morning, this afternoon at 1230, I checked YouTube and just to see if I had any comments to respond to. And I got my first hate comment, which is interesting. I was honestly expecting to get one sooner than like 450 subscribers, but now that's happened, so now I don't have to worry about that anymore. But I deleted it, and I think blocked the person. But as soon as I'm done talking to the doctor, I will continue working on this portion of 10 pages that I highlighted green yesterday. It is one of the portions that I turned in for a creative writing workshop while I was in school and got a lot of compliments on, and like people were just commenting on like, wow, you did like this foreshadowing part really well. The banter here was really good, and then I was given a couple of questions, and honestly, the question portions don't fit anymore, and so I'm just going to be cutting those out, essentially. But then I also have to rewrite this entire 10-page portion because uh, the season is different than I originally thought it was going to be. There are different characters with the main character than I originally wrote it as because those characters are in different places, and I'm changing the royal colors and the clothing worn in the court. And one of the bigger things I'm changing in at least the portion that I was working on earlier was a large portion of one of the pages is like a speech being given by one of the characters who's no longer in the scene, and so I need to rewrite that so that the same information is said, but by somebody else who also knows that, and so it's just interesting to try and rework that. The reason I'm highlighting these things in green is so that it, it's really satisfying to like look at a page that's all highlighted green and then slowly start tackling it from the top and things start turning like unhighlighted and then I just keep moving through it and it keeps working really well and it just shows me where I'm at and shows me what has been untouched from the rough draft and what I am currently rewriting so it makes it very easy for me not to lose my place and as soon as I'm done with my doctor's appointment I will get back to editing. 
So I just joined Kaylin Rivers, part two, write 10K in a day, Camp NaNoWriMo, writing through the apocalypse live right in, and she just shouted me out. Sarah, love your videos, by the way. Also, love your videos. Everybody, um, I'm just gonna take a moment to shout out Sarah. I just found Sarah, I think your channel, maybe yesterday or the day before, and girl, your video quality and your vlog are thebomb.com. If people, don't watch Sarah's channel. You should go and watch it right now. Just throwing that out there. That's so sweet. <laughs> From this live stream so far, I also found out that there's an author tuber Facebook group. And so I just pulled that up on Facebook, sent in my like application for it, like answered the couple questions on it. So that's fun. Might get to meet a lot more author tubers using that. So like, that's really cool. That's awesome. I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't clicked on Kaylin's live stream. First 15 minute sprint is done. I got about a page right, done. So as Kaylin is chatting, I'm been taking the paintings off my walls just kind of like packing a little bit between writing sprints but i just got the call that i was approved for my new apartment so i'm getting the keys tomorrow we are going to get started on this sprint in three two one happy writing everyone the timer has started so we're now doing a 40 minute sprint, but before I do that, I'm gonna need some more water in my please do not annoy the writer. She may put you in a book and kill you mug. Okay, so during that sprint, my dad actually called me. So I only edited for about 25 minutes and now I'm kind of hungry but I don't really have groceries and I need to go pick up a prescription and so I might have to go run an errand. That means that I have done a total of one hour and 10 minutes of DE edits today. Because the virus stays on surfaces, I'm getting really good at pushing buttons with my feet. I'm really, really happy that there were write-ins today because I know that I set this goal for myself that I was gonna write for X amount of hours that I was gonna edit for X amount of hours, but I'm really happy that there were write-ins today because that really helps with keeping me stay productive because of the community feel. Now I'm going to get my food. It's now 5.40ish, it's 5.37. I got my food, I got pho, and I started my day thinking I was gonna do a six hour editing and productivity sprint, calling it a write-a-thon, but kind of because I have an hour until the six hours would have been done, I'm kind of thinking I might go for 10. And I started at 12.30, which means that I would go until about 10.30, which is five hours from now. That might be ambitious, but who knows? We're gonna give it a shot. I have to pack up my apartment anyways, so I need to be productive whether I want to or not, but I'm gonna jump back on a live stream while I eat my dinner. It's about six now, I'm gonna do some YouTube video editing for this video until Kaylin starts her next sprint because they're somewhere in the middle of one right now, so I don't know how much time is left, but I'm gonna do some editing on this, and then when she starts talking again, I'll keep working on packing up my room, which I just heard that I'm not actually moving on Monday. I'm, I'll be moving on like Wednesday-ish, I think, next week, which is exciting, but stressful and it's gonna make me procrastinate packing longer. All right, now it's time for a 20 minute sprint. Just finished a 20 minute editing sprint and now while well, she's talking, I muted her for a moment, sorry. <laughs> but while she's talking, I'm gonna go do some packing and cleaning. It has been a little bit distracting when I can look out and have that be my view. I do find myself watching the cars driving along this road here, especially when I'm struggling for motivation and thinking about what characters need to be saying. 
it is now seven o'clock which means that i passed the mark where i started six hours ago so i do think i'm gonna go for 10 productive hours today they're just starting a 40 minute writing sprint as i was setting up a box to start packing up some of my kitchen stuff so i think i'm gonna set my personal timer for 20 minutes so for the first 20 minutes of their 40 minute sprint i'm gonna do packing and then when the alarm goes off then i will jump on and do 20 minutes of editing just spent those 20 minutes going through my kitchen and I knew that I owned a lot of kitchen equipment, but I didn't realize that I owned most of what was in my apartment despite sharing it with two roommates. I'm slowly watching the shadows get longer outside. I've been watching the sun fade and the shadows get longer on the other side of the building, but this is what it looks like when the sun is setting. Something that I found interesting in this 20 minute editing sprint was that I totally forgot about the queen's pet and like she, the animal, was like not there for any of these scenes. And so now I'm going back and like having to add it in because it's vital to the plot. And so it's just very interesting that I forgot so much about that animal. I'm also learning a lot about my style in rewriting this chapter because of how I'm like going through and writing descriptions and listing things and introducing characters and like, the banter between the two characters and like it's all very good and i just had a moment where i was like kind of awestruck snap like this is a very strong stylistic scene and i'm very happy with that two one happy writing everybody the timer has started and the sprint is going So my goal when I analyzed all of my stats a couple days ago, I want to say it's in that video where I figure out that I needed to do about six pages a day to get all of this done by the end of April. I started on page 10 earlier today and I'm now on page 16, but I've also deleted a lot. And so I'm going to check the start and finish for the rough draft because those are the page numbers that I'm kind of going off of to see how close I am to that goal of six pages a day or even if I've passed it. I was also looking up the differences between crowns and tiaras and I found out on this jewelry shopping guide website that the word crown is an umbrella term. A crown is circular whereas a tiara is semicircular and only covers half the head. A tiara is a type of crown but a crown is not a type of tiara. A tiara is typically worn by women whereas crowns can be worn by both men and women. Crowns are often more colorful and elaborate than tiaras. A crown is a representation of power, authority, and royal status. I just thought that was really interesting and that informed the rewriting that I'm doing on this editing portion. I also came up with a potential title even though I have um, three titles because I think this is probably going to be a trilogy. I have three potential titles that I really like but I came up for a potential title for the first book that would be like in a different set of titles like this would not fit with the three other ones that I have but I kind of like it and it's a phrase that I found in editing and rereading and so I wrote it down just we'll see what happens okay on the rough draft it does look like what I've been editing today was pages 11 to 17 in the rough draft and pages 10 to 16 in my second draft and so I have done about six pages today. I do not see this being something that I can do consistently every day until the end of April. Before doing those six pages, I think I'm at about 210 minutes of editing today. They just started another sprint. It's 27 minutes long this time. I think I'm gonna work on editing a YouTube video because my brain is getting tired, but it's currently 8.40. I want to keep going for about two more hours. I can keep going, but in order to do that, I need to do things other than editing right now. So I'm going to edit a YouTube video. And then when she starts talking again, I'm going to start packing up the kitchen stuff. While I'm editing my video, I am watching the last episode in the Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star documentary thing. I've been re-watching it over the past few days because I find it really inspiring. And so because I'm just rough chopping my video, I can have this playing in the background. I just spent the last 45 minutes, which was 840 
9.30 to 9.25 editing this YouTube video. And now Kaylin is starting on a 24 minute sprint, which I will join for. Her live stream has been going for six and a half hours now. She's shooting for 10,000 words today. And I think that's absolutely insane. <laughs> Now that that sprint is over and I edited for 25 minutes, it is now 9.50, which means I have 40 minutes until my write-a-thon productivity streak is done. And so I think I'm gonna start packing up the kitchen stuff while Kaylin is talking. Um, she's at 9,000 out of 10,000 words right now, which is wild. But while she's talking, I'm gonna pack. And then if we get to another editing sprint before my 10.30 deadline hits, great. If not, then I'm going to go to bed. It is now 10.01 and they're about to start a 29 minute sprint, which means that this is going to get me to my 10.30 deadline, which means that I will have been productive for 10 whole hours today. <laughs> It's now 10.33, you know what that means? It means that I have been productive for 10 straight hours today. I am now on page 20, which means that I think I have effectively done nine-ish pages of editing, which is incredible. And I'm very, very excited about that. I did quit this writing sprint a few minutes early just because I got to the end of a chapter and was like, you know what, that's it. It's a very easy place for me to end. I'm gonna highlight stuff that I need to do tomorrow or within the next few days. But now I'm gonna count up everything, duck out of the live write-in, give you guys my stats, and then go to bed. I'm feeling very tired, but I just added everything up. I was productive for 10 straight hours. I wrote it all down on this. I edited for two hours and 45 minutes, mostly as a part of Kaylin's live write-in, which was really, really helpful because I kind of found myself going in and out of um, a productive mindset. And so that was really helpful to have other people being really productive and getting a lot of words done and stuff. So I am very happy that she hosted that today. I recently found her channel just a few days ago. She followed me and left a comment and I followed her back and watched a couple of her videos and then saw this was going on, so I joined it. But that writing sprint was super fun. I had no idea she was trying to get 10,000 words done. I mean, it's it was literally in the title of her video, but I thought she was like gonna be doing a live write-in as part of a 10K day, not all of her 10K day. And apparently this was the second of two live streams today. But she's at like upper 9,000s right now. She's gonna hit it in the next writing sprint, which I think is amazing. I need to go to bed though, so unfortunately I can't congratulate her when she's done. But I really enjoyed her live stream, and so I just kind of stuck with it. Again, I've been on and off of it, but mostly on it for the past seven and a half hours. But I was enjoying it so much that I did not end up ever switching over to the other write-in, which I think is really cool. I'm just like glad that I was enjoying like the small community chatting aspect of it. Everybody was getting a lot done. There were a lot of people going for 10K days, which scares me so, so much. I did get to figure out a lot of things in rewriting today. And one of the things that I realized was that the reason that my main character is back in the castle is completely different now than what I originally wrote this scene to be. And there are a lot of lines in here about one of the characters who's no longer in this part of the story. And that makes me really sad because some of the lines not to toot my own horn, but are like really clever. And like I rereading it, I was like, oh dang, okay. But I highlighted them and moved them to the end of the document. So I might still be able to use them later on, which I'm hopeful for. And there's a scene where it might work or at least something in that same vein. I feel very accomplished with the things that I did today. However, looking at my stats, seeing that I edited and rewrote for two hours and 45 minutes and only net added 67 words is ridiculous. I did rewrite slash edit slash whatever about nine pages today, which is incredible. That was a major scene that needed to be overhauled, so I'm very, very happy with that progress. I was wildly productive today because in addition to editing, I also 
spent like two hours on phone calls, all of the phone calls, which really, really needed to happen. Um, cleaning and packing, and then I had a phone call with my dad, and then I had to run a couple errands, and then I did some YouTube editing. I started sorting through my kitchen to make things easier when I pack them, probably tomorrow or the next day. I did get to start it on that later. I did get started on that. Um, just a little while ago, more YouTube editing and then packing my kitchen. So I got a lot done. I was approved for the apartment and so I'm getting my keys tomorrow. And so when I'm actually moving is a little bit up in the air, but I'm just gonna keep packing and just blazing forward until I can actually move into my new place. But getting approved for that today was really, really exciting. Getting 10 hours of productivity done was really amazing. I'm so tired. <laughs> All right, that's it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe because it really supports my channel. And I post videos twice a week, so I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.